How's it going everybody, and welcome to Supernatural, an indie horror game where you play a detective investigating the disappearance of a housemaid. If you notice me talking a little quiet, that is because this game uses your microphone to gauge your fear. So I'm trying to stay cool, calm, and collected as we begin this journey. Detective Wyatt, man, I can't believe I'm talking to you. I've been a huge fan of your work, especially that Sakamoto case. The way you cracked it was pure genius. Your dedication is legendary. And that's why I knew you were the right person to reach out to. I've got this strange situation at my place that's been- Holy hell, there's like a tornado well, outside. I appreciate the kind words. Nice to meet you. Oh, now, I thought that was my dog tell, for a second. What's going on? It's about Mrs. Susan, like I mentioned in the evening. The lady helping my pregnant fiance, Kaylee, and me around the house. We brought her in because she seemed very lonely. She's practically family, living right next to our house. About a week ago, she disappeared, gone. Not answering calls, missing her usual hours. Disappeared for a week? Yeah, that's definitely cause for concern. Anything unusual about her behavior before she vanished? Yeah, that's the thing. She started acting strangely, calling us by different names, humming these bizarre tunes. It really freaked out Kayla. She went to stay with her parents for a bit. I couldn't just leave Mrs. Susan alone. I thought maybe it's dementia or something. Can you look into a detective? Oh, and don't worry about Bashka. Hopefully, she'll still be sleeping when I get back in a few hours. But I gotta warn you, she can be one noisy little girl sometimes. I understand, Colton. <laughs> I love dogs. And I'll start an investigation right away. You go be with Kaylee. And about the money, don't worry. We'll find Mrs. Susan. She's been like a grandmother to you two, right? Absolutely, Detective. She's been hey, we like still dead. need that money, though. We don't have much, especially after buying this house. But Mrs. Susan means everything to us, you know? Well, I'm heading straight to Kaylee's parents now. Please, give me a call as soon as you find out anything. We're really worried about her. Wow, this game looks pretty incredible. This dog is knocked. Open or close the door, drag the door with the mouse or the right stick of the controller. What is this, dude? Move the camera to find a clue to examine it. Keep in mind that there may be more than one clue in the viewport. Dude, what the hell do these people cook? Shit is burnt everywhere. Holy hell. Almost like my place. Huh, we can zoom in. Really burnt carburetors. Like something's been burning here. Yeah, what the hell have these people been doing? Crispy conundrum found all the clues in the kitchen. Okay. What's up with this? Ew, dude. What's up with the freaking tornado outside? These guys are prepping for the war or something if so many like groceries everywhere okay let's go check out what the hell is this buttload of candles Funko Pop of a Clown. 
you are picture. Oh, that's kind of weird. Why'd the lights go out? Turn those back on. And it's super dark over there. Oh wow, this house is a lot bigger than I thought. Let's check out the bathroom. We look beautiful. Man, a bunch of these Funko Pops everywhere. Fish ski. Well, let's just go ahead and leave the doors open. Well, this camera movement is crazy. Just an empty closet. Alright, I guess let's check out in here. Got a fuse box. Let's go check out the upstairs area. Ooh, that's kind of creepy. Oh! Seems like the power is out upstairs. And my flashlight is kind of wigging out a little bit. Dude, I mean, it's straight up during like a hurricane or something. Their windows are boarded, they're cracked. I just saw... Yeah, the light is flickering in here. What in God's name? Is that... That's the dog, right? Just an empty, scary-ass room. Thank God the baby isn't here. Oh wow, this is a really cool painting. More of these figures everywhere. Oh damn. I can relate. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hello? Apparently you can talk to the entity, so... We gotta make sure we're... Keeping friendly. Not now. Are you friendly? Maybe three flashes means yes. I hope. That's just a prank. They're just messing with me. Haha, uh -huh, nice joke. Okay. What the hell? Another child victim? God. Please, no. These drawings are unsettling. Yeah, you don't say. There's more. Do you have a child they didn't tell me about? Interesting. Oh, yeah, because it's like... How could the little tiny baby be doing these drawings? OK, 
Okay, this must be the parents room. What was that? Wasn't the dog? Okay, we'll go back upstairs. That just freaked me out so bad. Are there any clues in the bathroom we miss? No, I'm not seeing any. Come on, come on. Hello, this is an automated message from Pulse Grainer Bank. We regret to inform you that your mortgage payment for the property is currently overdue for $95,331. Please be advised that it is imperative to settle this outstanding payment as soon as possible to avoid any further complications. Your prompt attention to this matter is greatly appreciated. If you have any questions or concerns regarding your mortgage payment, please do not hesitate to contact our customer service department. Thank oh you for your cooperation. God. He wasn't lying about their financial situation. Oh my god. Dude, $90,000? That's tough. Hello? Is anybody up there? Are you friendly? Show yourself. Oh my god, I don't want to go up here. No funny business. any clues in the yeah what the hell is this weird symbol I wonder if it could relate to the case who the hell's drawing pentagrams on the baby shit gotta be clues in here so hard to be young these days. No kidding. I have other things to do. I better get back to it. Oh, here's like a guest bedroom we haven't been in. How long do I have to wait? Ultrasound of a child. Probably the client's fiance. But why is it written here? How long do I have to wait? I have a feeling this case is closely tied to the client's fiance. What 
the hell? So are we like a paranormal detective? Okay. So we got some maybe adultery going on. Hey, who is that? Hey, cut that shit out. I'm not kidding. You know, guys, like rule number one of uh, demonic entities, you can't show fear, right? You got to you got to show that you're you're the dominant one. All right. So what are we missing here? I feel like we got a pretty good rundown of the clues here. There's absolutely some creepy, weird shit going on. We saw a ghost lady in red. Hey, who turned the lights off? Turn that shit back on. Oh, here we go. We got lots of bras. What type of clue is this? We gonna snip them? A ton of women's laundry. Dude, I'm hearing like some growling or some weird stuff. The only autosave has just occurred. There's no going back. You have to face what you've done. What the hell did I do? I have to chase down the password for another two hours again, I'm out. Password? Forgot your password. Hey Keely, if you forgot your computer password for the hundredth time, I've scattered your toy figures around the house. And I've labeled the boxes with the login and password. First is the chicken ski, then the cow ski, followed by the rabbit ski. Enumulate for login is the Char Charsky and lastly the Katsky. The password starts with the Fishsky, then a Tedsky or a Botsky, second last the Cow Kolsky, and finally a Clownsky. Have a blast, sweetheart. What the hell is this? First is the Dunsky and the Rasky. Penultimate for login is the Sharsky. What the f what the hell does pin ultimate mean? First is the chicken, then the cow, followed by the rabbit. Hey, cut that shit out. Who the hell oh! All right, I'm just kidding. I think I shit my pants. Okay, so there's two codes we need. We need the login and the password. Okay. First is the chicken. Chicken, cow, rabbit. Shark, cat. Chicken, cow. I already forgot. Chicken, shark. I have it. I got it written down. I'll figure it out. Where's the dog? Is the dog okay? Yeah, dog's chilling. Okay, so here's the clown. 
All right, let me get a let me get a running tally going here. All right, clown. Maybe the clown doesn't have one. Fish. Okay, fish definitely had one. Zero. Oh wait, the clown does have one. It's five. Okay, clown is five. Fish is zero. Oh! Damn it. Okay, clown five, fish zero. What even is this? Okay. Ted ski? I don't see any. I don't think it has one. Dude, my flashlight is really sucking right now. Alright, that thing can do that as much as it wants now. I'm sorry for interfering last time. What is this? The cat is three. Ooh, that's the only one in here. Whatever's in here with me is not happy. Oh, here we go. Shark is six. Oh, cool. Chicken eight. There's one in here, wasn't there? Cool is one. Is there one in here? Yep. Rabbit is two. And is that, is that it? Forgot your password. Chicken, cow, rabbit, shark, cat. No, damn it, we don't have the cow. All right, we have to go find the cow. What awful way to remember a password. Like, do they just, did I just see a box go flying? Do they just keep these figures around everywhere? Where is the cow? On here. It's the rabbit. No cow in here. The shark. Oh! Oh, I'm not going that. I'm not going that way. All right, come on. Where's the cow? I just need the damn cow. Oh my, is this it? Robot. Okay, the robot is four. I didn't even know there was a robot. You know where the cow is? I'm not going in there. Jesus Christ, it gives me goosebumps. No! Oh! oh, seven. That is hard to see. Okay. 
Petty is seven. I'm about to just go try to brute force it. Dude, since when did all these lights get turned off? You'd think we'd have a better flashlight as a detective. Oh my god, there it is. It's been here this whole time. How many times I've overlooked that? Alright, let's shut this. So we got chicken, cow, rabbit, sharsky, chicken, cow, rabbit, shark, cat. Chicken, cow, rabbit, shark, cat. Chicken, cow, rabbit, shark, cat, fish, teddy, robot, cool clown. We're in. Let's go. Bella, that is the fiance. Babe, is Kaylee home? Have you fixed her cam yet? I was thinking we could have a little, you know, hour time while she's away. Oh, hey, Bella. Yeah, Kaylee's with her parents tonight. What's up? Seriously? You sound a bit off, babe. Is everything okay? I was really looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, just a bit tired. You know, it's been a hectic day. Tired, Dude, what huh? the hell is sure? this? You sound like something's up. I was really hoping to come over. What's the deal? Just need a bit of downtime. Mrs. Susan is missing. Mrs. Susan is missing? You're being a bit vague, babe. I was really hoping to spend some alone time with you. What's the real story? Look, it's just not a good night and I need to take it easy. Can we catch up some other time? Sure, but you're not fooling me. Why are you being so distant? We had plans and now you're backing out? Bill, it's not the right time. I promise we'll make up for it. I need to go, man. Catch up later. Kaylee won't be thrilled about this. No way. So the fiance is cheating on his wife? Don't they have a kid together? She's like, had a baby. Switch cameras with previous next buttons and use night vision with a night vision button. How do you use night vision? Okay. Very nice. Oh no. What is the dog barking at? Giggle? Are ghost real? Guess not. Okay. Dude's cheating on his wife. Dog's barking at something. What is it, buddy? What? You can use the internet browser on their computer to search for text clues you found. Crawler? Alright, let's look up Crawler. Remembering Miss Susan Crawler. A tragic loss sparks a community reflection on mental health. On July 15th, 2020, the small town of Greenfield, Pennsylvania was rocked, rocked by a tragedy that left its residents in the shock and mourning. 80-year-old Miss Susan Crawler, a beloved member of the community, had taken her own life by hanging herself from a tree in her backyard. The news of her passing spread quickly throughout the town, with many struggling to come to terms with the loss of such a cherished member of their community. Miss Crawler, known for her kind heart and generosity towards others, she volunteered at the local senior center, where this, she spent countless hours knitting blankets and scars for those in need. Her neighbors described her as a gentle soul who always had a smile on her face and a warm greeting for everyone she encountered. However, despite her outgoing personality and dedication to helping others, Miss Crawler struggled with depression and anxiety for much of her life. 
She had been receiving treatment for these conditions, but it seems that even with therapy and medication, she could not find peace with herself. In the days following her death, the town came together to honor Miss Crawler's memory. A memorial service was held at the local church where dozens of people gathered to pay tribute to her life. Many spoke of how much she meant to them and how they, how her impact would be felt for years to come. Two years later, the wounds of Miss Crawler's suicide are still raw in the hearts of those who knew her best. While there is no easy answer as to why someone would take their own life, it is clear that mental health struggles can affect anyone regardless of age or circumstance. It is hoped that through Miss Crawler's tragic passing, more attention will be brought to the importance of mental health awareness and resources. Wow. Okay. Here's something wet. What is that? Oh my god, what is that sound? Ugh. Oh my god, what is that? What the hell? Oh. From now on, microphone will detect every noise you make. You can also start communicating with a paranormal entity. You don't have to tell me. What? No fucking way. She broke him. Stay quiet for a sec, okay? I need to tell you something. So, I did some digging online, and guess what? Mrs. Suzanne died some time ago. Three years to be exact. Isn't this crazy? I mean, why didn't we hear about it right when it happened? Why did you see her this whole fucking time? Something is not right here. It's like someone wanted to sweep it under the rug or something. This is all so bizarre. 
I need some time to process this, and you should probably see a shrink or something, unless this is some damn ghost business. I'm done. Don't try to reach out to me. I'm dead serious. Damn, we lost our side piece. Jesus fucking Christ. What the hell? Night vision. That is absolutely terrifying. Where's the dog? Who are you? That is terrifying. Okay, let's go find the dog. I'm trapped in where night after night her we slipped into sleep, our gazes intertwined. Beholding our cherished TV series, just you, I, and our bodka. What does that mean, boy? Can you help me? Got a photo piece. Okay, definitely goes there. Okay, we need more photo pieces. Oh no. Dog is barking again. In that place where each time I should. Dogs on the move. 
Should be one more. Oh. What did I do? is this the hell is this that place where you nurtured your flawless beauty tenderly anointing your skin with fragrant potions your own moist and hands okay so the bathroom okay i think this girl's bugged out or something. Okay, who the hell is Holton? Okay, I turned the um, microphone sensitivity all the way down so I could read this to you guys. 
A hero sheriff's bravery 40 years since the daring rescue in Pennsylvania. In the small town of Greenfield, Pennsylvania, nestled among the picturesque landscapes and rolling hills, there exists a story of extraordinary bravery that has become a beacon of hope and inspiration for the community. This narrative revolves around Sheriff Robert Holton, a man whose courage and selflessness came to define the spirit of heroism in the hearts of Greenfield residents. It was a chilly autumn night in 1982 when local families was erup abruptly awakened by the piercing sound of a fire alarm. The source of the disturbance was their neighbor's house, now consumed by an inferno that threatened to devour everything in its path. The family trapped inside faced a dire situation with little hope for escape. In the midst of chaos, Sheriff Robert Holton, already renowned for his unwavering dedication to the community, received the distress call. Without a moment's hesitation, he rushed to the scene, not as an observer, but as a rescuer determined to defy the odds. Upon arrival, Sheriff Holton was met with a scene of sheer terror. The flames roared uncontrollably, painting an orange glow against the darkened night sky. The family, immobilized by fear, were visible through the thick smoke, desperately signaling from help from an upper floor window. Undeterred by the intensity of the blaze, Sheriff Holton swiftly coordinated with the local fire department to create a strategy for the daring rescue. With the flames raging around them, the sheriff and the firefighters worked tirelessly to breach the burning structure. As the first responders battled the inferno, Sheriff Holton, equipped with a protective suit, charged into the smoke-filled building. Okay, why wouldn't the firefighters go in there? Guided only by the distant cries of the family, he navigated through the treacherous environment with unparalleled determination. Finally reaching the upper floor, Sheriff Holton discovered the family huddled together in a room rapidly succumbing to the encroaching flames. The urgency of the situation amplified as he used, ushered them towards the window, the only possible exit. Amidst the chaos, Sheriff Holton maintained an air of calm and re reassurance, urging the family to trust him as he orchestrated their descent to safety. One by one, he carefully lowered them down the help of a makeshift rope, ensuring their escape from the clutch of the relentless fire. Oh my god. The heroic rescue concluded with the family safely reunited on the ground, and Sheriff Holton emerged from the inferno unscathed but forever changed. The town of Greenfield hailed him as a true hero, and events of that fateful night solidified his place in the hearts of the community. Now, four decades later, the legacy of Sheriff Holton continues to inspire generations. The heroism displayed on that autumn night has become a symbol of courage, unity, and resilience echoing through the quaint streets of Greenfield as a testament to the indomitable spirit of one extraordinary sheriff. Okay. I adjusted the mic again so I could talk. Someone's here. Detective, you say? What brings you to this house, making all this ruckus? Folks around here can't get a moment's peace. My apologies, Sheriff. I'm here on behalf of the new residents, who requested an investigation into the disappearance of Mrs. Susan, the former occupant of this house. Mrs. Susan? Bless her soul. She yes. passed away three years ago. Why would anyone be poking around her old place now? Well, Sheriff, sometimes these cases have a way of lingering. The new residents are concerned, and they just want some closure. Closure, huh? Well, I reckon that's understandable. But what's with all the noise? Ah, yes, I'm afraid my investigation can get a bit noisy at times. I'm just trying to leave no stone unturned, you know? Hmm, I suppose I understand. But if you don't mind me asking, why now? Why all this fuss over Mrs. Susan after all these years? It's my duty to follow up on any leads, Sheriff. Right now, my leads point me to this house. Well, all right then. I'll leave you to it, Detective. But try to keep it down, will you? Don't need the whole town up in arms over some ghost story.
up and we need new fuses or something. Can you help me? No fucking duh. Whoa. That scared the shit out of me. This fucking time, I won't let anyone escape. Yo, what the f What the hell? Eliminate the opposer or lose everything you've uncovered? I gotta do talk. What the hell is going on? What? You reckon I wouldn't figure it out? Dude, I don't get... I don't get it. How's he not dead? We shot him. That's it. <laughs> eliminate him before he eliminate you. Dude, what the f just happened? What am I even looking at? What the hell? Unlocked good ending. In a stunning revelation, Detective Wyatt unraveled the dark truth behind the track deaths of Miss Susan and her husband. The culprit was none other than the re revered Sheriff Robert Holton, a man of authority and respect in the community. Jealousy had consumed him when Miss Susan chose another over him, leading him to commit a heinous act of vengeance. Dude, what? This came out of nowhere. I was just turning on the power in the house and the dude shows up with a shotgun like, nah, you ain't solving this. Sheriff Holden's manipulation of local news painted him as a hero. Disguising his own sinister deeds, he orchestrated the fire that engulfed Miss Susan's home while her family sat down to supper, ruthlessly ending their lives, but it wasn't enough. He went further, concocting a false narrative of heroism to cover his tracks. Miss Susan, far from taking her own life, as the fabricator report suggested, was found to have been pregnant when the coroner examined her body. The extent of Sheriff Holton's depravity knew no bounds. Yet in the face of such darkness, Detective Wyatt emerged as a beacon of truth and justice. With unwavering determination, he pieced together the evidence, unmasking Sheriff Holton's vile actions and bringing him to justice. When the police arrived at the scene, Wyatt stood amidst the tears, a hero in the midst of tragedy. Despite the pain and sorrow, his resolve remained unbroken, a testament to his commitment 
to seeking out the truth no matter how dark the daunting path may be. Jesus. Dude. <gasps> what? I can't believe the ghost is still chasing us in the background. I can still hear the dog snoring in the background as well. And that's it. The game just resets to this screen. This game is ambitious. It's a very cool idea and concept. The graphics look great. The use of the microphone input in horror games is something I think still needs work for better implementation. I really did enjoy some of the way the scares were set up in this one. Um, I gotta be honest though, that story ending just comes absolutely out of nowhere. It gives you the pieces, I guess, but then just dumps everything on you because no way in hell did it make sense uh, up until that point. And don't even get me started on that gunfight. Uh, dude was literally like the Terminator. At the end of the day though, it gave me some good scares and looks amazing for a solo developer. Well done. That's gonna be it for this one guys. Let me know what you think of the game below. Like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to be notified for the next one. See ya.